Hydrology is the study of water resources, it includes the various components of the, what we call the hydrological cycle. We, of course, have a strong dependence on water resources. It's probably our greatest natural resource. And frequently, ecological demands suffer in many areas because the different uh, rules regarding distribution of water resources often focus primarily on the agricultural demands and the municipal demands. We are in an extended drought, uh, which is affecting the amount of water in Northern California that normally we depend on as, uh, and take as a given. Well, there's a couple different ways that uh, what, what I'm doing, I think, contributes to society as a whole. One, one is through education. Uh, we train students, uh, many of whom are successful in uh, obtaining employment once they receive their degrees. So we carry out research to address practical uh, questions. You know, we do research that uh, actually goes, that provides information that, that is used by policy makers and regulators to make decisions on management of hydrological systems. Students are working with me in, in doing the basic research to understand these problems. Uh, and we sample urban runoff, we sample springs that flow into the creeks, uh, we collect uh, samples from urban storm drains, and then we test and compare the water quality from these various sources to try to determine um, if, if these parameters, these pollutants or these constituents are naturally sourced or if they are caused by some type of land use activity where humans are creating a, an input. I care about the students and I'm, uh, I'm very interested in seeing them develop intellectually and, and to become competent uh, hydrologists because as I say, many of them will work in pro the professional sector and some of them will be uh, charged to develop public policy. So I want them to be competent uh, so that they can be good public servants. Uh, when you spend time in the field with students, you, some, you develop a closeness and seeing them develop professionally and, and move on to careers and, and lives that are productive and, and happy and enriching. You see, I'm a person who just loves science. If I'm engaged in a project that I really like, it, you know, it's with me all the time. I'm driving to Cal State LA to teach and I'll be thinking about data. And what, what I really enjoy is when students share that passion and they get to where it, it's almost an obsession. I, even though you hold them in the highest esteem, they surprise you with their drive and their work ethic and the things that they will do to, as a person who will go out into the real world and contribute.